technology competition is also related to numerous developing countries. Their choices of technology can affect their respective developments down the road. So how will these choices influence the final outcome of global technology competition? It's not just about the science, uh, but also about the markets. So uh, the future, like the winner of the technology, must be those who can be used by many people and who can have uh, the large market share in the global market. Between China and U.S., will technology competition drive the relationship even worse? Yes, I think the uh, competition between China and the U.S. on technology will be a decisive factor for the both countries' relationship in the coming decades. And uh, uh, I think this will also hugely influence uh, the global uh, political economic structure as uh, the technology development will influence uh, the direction of the whole world's uh, development. Post-COVID era, what new role and responsibilities will technology play, in your opinion? Yeah, I mean, uh, we can see that the COVID, uh, this uh, pandemic, they actually uh, create more demands for the technology. So therefore, then I think after this uh, COVID, people will just uh, invest more in technology. And yeah, this will be a chance for both the developing countries and the Chinese uh, investment because uh, we uh, will have uh, see this uh, uh, comprehensive uh, collaboration in infrastructure, in manufacturing, and in the e-commerce, uh, in technology. They should uh, be uh, more uh, closely interlinked after, with this uh, push of the COVID-19. Chinese tech companies are more willing to explore these new frontiers by providing tailor-made technology solutions to them. So what are the motivations behind the Chinese tech companies? These companies, they exactly know how to get adapted to a non-Western culture and how to really nurture a rapidly growing market. And they know how to discover some potential needs and then incubate these small startups and bring them into bigger ones. And then the Chinese companies, they have to choose the less uh, uh, resistant or uh, the uh, developing countries as uh, the entry point and uh, to develop uh, their market strategy, develop uh, a relatively large consumer basis apart from China's own domestic market. They are very important for this China's, for the future of China's uh, tech companies. Government policies are critical to facilitate the development of a functioning and orderly market. So what are the key experiences and even lessons China have learned and the needs to share? Because uh, the technology sector, that's indeed heavily influenced by the government's uh, policy and the regulation. As we see, the e-payment system in China, they have become a world-leading uh, technology uh, today. That's uh, exactly because of the government support. So I think the similar stories uh, can be replicated in other developing countries as well. But if we can really uh, spread, uh, diffuse the technology in the developing countries, that will be a huge contribution to the world's uh, development, to also we say the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. That will be a really uh, important uh, target for our whole, whole Earth. What will be the next uh, 
tip, tipping point for these developing countries in following or copying China's roadmap. All the different countries, they have a very diverse uh, development path. I would rather say it's a syner synergetic development. So you will co-develop and co-evolve with the local markets together. And with China's Belt and Road Initiative, actually it promotes more the infrastructure connectiveness and also promotes the more intensive of uh, uh, economic and uh, social exchange. And I think this will be the trend uh, maybe for the coming uh, years. And also they want, uh, they have consensus on a more uh, efficient, uh, more productive uh, economy. And this common pursuit will bring China and these developing countries together to work towards the common goal. Because uh, the uh, technology, it uh, should not be just uh, monopolized by several uh, foreign investors. Because the new technology like uh, fintech or e-commerce, they all are closely related to each country's uh, local market, local society. So the Chinese tech companies, they are not working individually, but they actually work together with different sectors, including also manufacturing. That's a very important part. So therefore, things like uh, uh, the Alibaba, this uh, e-commerce platform, they can work with the manufacturing uh, investors, but also together with the Chinese infrastructure constructors. So this provides uh, the unique strength for Chinese companies to uh, benefit the local companies, but also to uh, achieve the market uh, uh, success.